Yo, what is going on guys? We are here with another video. I hope you guys do enjoy this top five offensive players of this year's NBA draft. So all I ask is you guys leave a comment and watch to the end of the video because YouTube only cares about the watch time. So let's hop in, top five offensive players in this year's NBA 2020 draft. First guy I'd love to talk about is Denny Avidija or Denny Avidija. Avija. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm just going to say it both ways. So, like, you guys can either way trash me in the comment section for sucking and enunciating. Okay. He's a very good shooter. He can make a variety of three-point shots and help his team space the floor on offense. He's a good off-ball motion. Like, he's good off-ball. He can get into the place. You know who he's really good at? He's really good at cutting, slashing. He's really good at doing everything around the ball. One thing you could say that, like, he's kind of bad. He's got a slow release. But this guy's first thing is he's displayed is that he's a solid playmaker, okay? He's a very smart, savvy point forward that has good court sense and will throw sharp passes that set up scores for his teammate. He's adept at throwing crisp interior passes and he will promptly find open shooters to get them the ball quickly as possible. He can also dribble off screens to find open teammates on the move and his team has trusted him to bring the ball quickly up the floor on several occasions. With that being said, he's, he's not insane at rebounding. He's like 6'8", 6'9", and I really like this kid. He's 6'9", with a 6'9", wingspan, okay? He is playing in Israel for Maccabi Tel Aviv and the Israeli and Premier League, and I think he's playing the Euro League and all that stuff. But this guy, when they say LeBron isn't a scorer, LeBron's a passer, then a scorer. This is Denny. If he ever goes anywhere, he's going to start off having better passing numbers honestly this is the only guy that i think in this draft that has luka Doncic potential or like lebron potential that actually has this potential to be better than what people are saying is and everyone's been saying this for months but i i've been saying this for years i want people to know that like, this isn't in any specific order this is just my top five offensive players in this year's nba draft so with that being said Killian Tilly, I think he's the French Kevin Love. I really do think if there's a guy, if he can put up some weight, I really think he could be, like, if he can be a little chubby, you know what I mean, or just pack some muscle, he could be like Minnesota Kevin Love, okay? I don't, I'm not saying at all. Let me take that back. Minnesota Kevin Love on rebounding aspect. I do think he's going to be like the Cleveland Cavaliers Kevin Love, who really just stands around the three-point line, maybe sometimes plays center, but mainly plays power forward, and even sometimes small forward. But if he can bulk up, I really do think he's just a really, really good shooter. He can make pretty much any shot on the floor, and he's just one of the best shooters in this draft, and he stands at 6'11". You guys knew he was going to be in here. Lamelo Ball. Obviously, he's probably hands down the best offensive player in this year's draft. He can pass, he can shoot, he can dribble, he can do everything, and he's shown even more, especially in this time in the NBL, that he is way better at passing than his brother and way better at shooting than Lonzo was at their age. I think LaMelo is so much far ahead than Lonzo was at the same age. I really do think LaMelo is going to start out hotter. I don't know who's going to have the bit of a career, but I do think LaMelo is going to start off his career a lot quicker and a lot faster because he just has the three things you want, shoot, dribble, and pass. That's what you want, and he has them. Tyrese Massey. Tyrese Maxey? I hope I really said that right. But anyway, this guy is probably the best shooter in the draft. They're calling him like Lou Williams. Well, I call him Lou Williams because like, I think he really could be like the next Lou Williams, though he did shoot 29% from three, 42% from the field. I mean, this guy mainly took three-pointers, but they had him playing or trying to play the point guard position when I, I honestly think the only person who should have been playing that position was Ashton Higgins and Zane Payne. So Tyrese Maxey, if he plays the shooting guard position and they just, I know he's only 6'3 and 198 pounds. That's why I think like, yo, put him as like the six man, play him like 20 minutes a night and he's just going to get you 20 points real quick, real fast. And that's my personal opinion. He played 34 minutes a night, obviously, but he was averaging 14 points. Okay. And like a terrible efficiency. So if he can really get those numbers up, I think he could have a place in this year, in this league. So this is more of a guy I fell in love sports betting and he played for San Diego State. Malachi Flynn started his career in 2016 to 2017. He only averaged nine points. Then 2017 to 2018, 15.8. Then the following year, he sat out because he transferred. I'm trying to remember where he came from. But then at San Diego State, played 32 minutes. Okay, not 32 minutes, 32 games. Every single year he ever played in the NCAA, he averaged 33 minutes. Okay, every single year he played in the NBA and not NBA, NCAA, his averages jumped. Okay, the final year he had 37% from the field. I mean, three-point line. 
44% from the field. He made 85% of his free throws, and he had 17.6 points, five assists. Okay, I just I want to see if there's advanced stats, but this guy in his last game ever in college basketball, he had 16 points only. But Malachi Flynn, I really think he's an all-around point guard. And that's my this is my list. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Just hopefully you guys stayed to the end. If you did, please like, dislike if you didn't like it. Just comment down below. Let me hear your opinion. As always, guys, I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Till next, guys, peace out.